If you're f with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. It does not. You can't be talking. Sh you're doing all. You're selling pictures of whatever. What are we, gang members? What are we, gang members? What's our gang? I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. All right, what's up, y'all? So this video right here will probably make you think, what the f is up with people? So right here, we have an OnlyFans model and her little brother. So she starts to lecture her brother, and then he pretty much claps back and say, You do OnlyFans. You can't tell me shit. Do you think I'm a good sister? No. Bro, why? You're my sister. You're mean to me. Not all the time. Mm. Bro, we live in you're different states. You're saying this because you're on a podcast. No, we live in different states. How I mean you. I mean to you when you're failing your f***ing classes. Yeah. I'm not failing. A D. It's not failing. As a man, you should never be getting no Ds. You should be giving Ds. That's a D. It's failing. F is failing. F is a D failing. is failing. For you it is, because you're a A plus child. You're right, I am. Shut the hell up. You're literally doing your your own your career is an only You can't be talking sh You're doing all you're selling pictures of whatever. You can't be saying sh all that studying was for what? You know, that's the thing about OnlyFans. Yes, you'll make a lot of money, but no one's gonna respect you. Like she's getting demolished by her little brother. She went to school, got straight A's, just to graduate and sell her body online for five dollars a month. All right, if you laugh at this next clip right here, you owe me a like. So why didn't I flinch? Because the laws of science differ fundamentally from those of you. Laughed, didn't you? Yeah, me too. I was dying when I saw this video. <laughs> What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Go to oh, the really? And stuff, yeah. White men. It always just irks my soul when I hear someone in a particular race say that they don't like their own race. That's some bullshit. And they're only saying this because the white men probably are not going for them. Because who do we mainly see with fat white women? Black men, bro. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Especially the black men from Africa, they be coming here and loving up that chubby wubby white woman. That CWWW, chubby wubby white woman. So what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black, at least 6'5". 6'5"? Yeah. She's 6'5". He's got to be taller, you know? No? Yeah, just lots of money. Because a white guy, whenever he dates a black girl, it's usually like... The better looking black girls, you know what I'm saying? The top echelon of black girls. I hate y'all niggas for taking away my black girls. <laughs> but whenever you see a black man date a white woman, it's always, you know what I'm saying? The, it's always the white woman that the white men don't want. More specifically, the ones that if you let them in your house, they're going to clean out your fridge. The refrigerator defeaters, man. Hey, my rat. Between men or women, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. women. Why? We bleed for a uh, week a month. Um, we are f in. We're sexualized everywhere we go. Yeah, like cat called. Yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely. The parking lot tenant tried to steal me before. Not me. Anyone tried to steal <laughs> you today? We can. We can. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I got like 20 girlfriends back at the crib. Oh, shit. Yeah. 22 then. I'm okay. <laughs> And even though they're saying this, they're just trying to save face for the camera because no guy's going for that shit. Unless they got a thing for BBWs, and I don't know, man. But guys, if you want to level up and be able to not be tied down to women like this, you need to get on your skincare journey, man. And that's where we got Teach Hanley, man. So Teach Hanley has made skincare very simple for men. I've been using this shit for a year and about eight, maybe nine months now. And look at my skin, man. Blowing. <laughs> <laughs> so I know some of y'all think that skincare routines are pointless for men, but it is not pointless to take care of yourself. Your skin is what people are gonna see first. Why not take care of it? Especially with something that's simple and affordable. So based on your skin type, you can take a quiz on the Teach Honey website and they will recommend a perfect system for your skin type. And for me personally, I got the level one system. All right, so it comes with a daily cleanser that you use to wash the dirt off your face. And it also comes with a moisturizer that you can use in the AM or PM. And it comes with a exfoliating scrub to get all the old skin off your face. But you can use that twice a week. These products smell good and they feel good on your skin when you rub them in. They also travel size and they come in a bag that Teach Honey provides for you. So you can just travel with them wherever you go, man. And just because I love y'all, I'm gonna provide you with a link
link where you can click to get 30% off your first order guys 30% off so go ahead and click the link and get started on your skincare journey man black women when we do the same diets as white women we lose less weight and we lose it slower even when we're following the diet than our white women counterparts and what and what public health practitioners think is that our stress responses in the body change our metabolism it's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same i agree with her that stress can affect your metabolism but this is just stupid she's blaming weight loss on racism that's some bullshit and everyone that clapped in that video is also stupid All right, man, so personally, I think she was being a little petty. There's nothing wrong with helping out someone that's in need. He did it quick, effortlessly. He didn't even stare at her. He just gave her her shit back and went along his way back to his wife. His wife was definitely being petty. I could see if he stared at it or slapped it a little bit. I, I could see, but this is just childish. You take me on our first date. You. If you dress like that, we're going to the crib first. And then we could do whatever after that. If it depending on how that go. <sighs> I know you didn't want me to get up here and lie to you. No, of course not. I don't like liars. No. But question. Mm -hmm. Why would you be taking me to your house? Because you dress like a prostitute. Why else? Why else? She damn near dressed like she about to go to the beach. She came up to him wearing lingerie, asking, oh, why can't we go somewhere to eat? Where the fuck am I gonna go with you dressed like that? Who's gonna let you in? What fine establishment is gonna let you in dressed like that? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Shit, what you want to go to hotel or something? No. B and B. No. <laughs> shit, car shit, I like that too. Wait, oh my god, am I like selling sex to you? I mean, I just feel like you know, I look good, body look good, but it shouldn't. See, she on some bullshit, man. She know the way she dresses is very sexually provocative so she's trying to make the guy feel bad for treating her how she presents herself that's manipulation 101 right there man i should write a book money. it shouldn't yeah i make money i'm a you look real good right like this is this is like walking beauty but okay you can make money but if you dress like that i'm still not gonna take you nowhere you could you could go ahead and make your money though do you <laughs> you know what i'm saying do you my baby like you know i have mad respect for myself where would you take me on the date? Is that your answer? After the crib, we can go get some food wherever you like. Where would you take me? I said wherever you like. I'm real like. Just whatever I want. Yeah. What if I want to go shopping? Damn, you're going to have to call somebody else. <laughs> she was automatically asked, oh, you going to take me shopping? What if I want to go shopping? So everything is probably transactional with her. She probably does sell herself. You know what I'm saying? Dressed like that, she probably do. Damn, that's some quantum shit right there, man. So that is my conclusion, and you probably have the same conclusion as well. And I'm jumping to it, just like this. What are we? Gang members. What are we? Gang members. What's our gang name? BBC. What's our gang name? BBC. She, I'm a part of that gang too, I can't lie. Who the ops? Mad Sam Who the ops? Mad Sam What we kill the ops with? Glocky, Glocky. Always some type of people like this in your class, man. They do make the class enjoyable, but they need to go ahead and gang gang these books. <laughs> Look on your waistline. The way I'm making move, get it so fine. Shorty too hot when she's slow white. Me, I take it slow, man, don't waste time. I know when you're not making my lady. Body. All right, so first of all, I have so many questions. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they got something going on that we don't know about. Or maybe she just so locked into the performance that she just didn't feel it. But my guy on the stage was staring this man down. He's like, who the fuck are you touching? You gonna touch my girl's toes like that? You gonna touch her toes like that? You see the way he's looking, bro? 
And here's one of the dumbest shit I've heard all week. If you're fucking with a condom, that does not count as a, a body. It does not. <laughs> so you can fuck a hundred niggas. And it's not going to count. fuck nobody. Like, exactly. It's not going to count. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to count. That's different. Wait, so that means your boyfriend can do that. If you got a boyfriend, like, yeah, you know, I'm about to go fuck this bra right quick, but I'm going to wear a condom, so it don't count. You see, nah, niggas, niggas don't know how to do that. So if I got a boxing glove on and I punch the shit out of you, does it count as a punch? Does it still count? Oh, I guess not. By her logic, it don't count. It was never a punch. Ain't no domestic violence right here. I use the glove. <laughs> Imagine if a man beats his woman, but he had a glove on. She's gonna report this to the police, and then they go to court, and then he gonna come and say, hey, judge, it, I didn't hit her, man. I used the glove. It don't, it don't count. <laughs> that nigga go to jail! That nigga go to jail. That nigga go to jail. So do you ever see yourself with just one woman? I'm with one woman right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that silence was deafening. He know damn well he's not with one woman. And a lot of these celebrities, rappers, athletes, it's hard for them to be with one woman because they got so much woman throwing themselves at these men. And we live in a very sexualized society right now where a lot of us don't have control of our sexual energy and we will fuck anything, bro. Because a man's sexual drive is much higher than a woman's sexual drive. And I'm not and I'm not saying women don't like to fuck as well. They do. There's some women out here with oh, really fucking high sex drives, man. It takes a man of very strong mind, fortitude, to resist temptation and be with one woman. You have to have that ultra instinct to dodge them. Just like this, man. This is how I be dodging girls when I got a girlfriend. And looks can also be deceiving, man. When you have sex with a girl that you think is fine, but inside, she looking like this. Like, you think you're sticking your dick in a fine-ass girl, but it turns out she's rotten on the inside, man. And you gonna probably absorb some of that rotten-ass energy, man. Damn! That's some quantum shit right there, man! This is probably the most outrageous shit I've heard all week. I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is, like, unreasonable. I'm like young, 18 year old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13 inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people just to see who I like the most. But this is why I'm an 18 year old girl with this type of mindset. She's probably gonna be a porn star, man. If she wants to live that life, go ahead and live that life. I could care less. But one thing I will say though, when you choose to live this type of life, don't complain about it later on. Because if you do choose to live this type of life, make sure you're ready for the consequences. If you wanna get slutted out, slacked around, smacked around, passed around, then do you. Do you, my baby. It's your life. But I'll be saying something completely different though if this was like my cousin, my sister, my daughter. Bro, if my daughter ever made a video like this, man, I'm you know, I'm getting the belt, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna whoop the whore out of her, bro. The sexual demon out of her, man. The living succubus out of her, man, cause this is a succubus spirit. If my daughter ever made a video like this, I know I failed as a father. Just like this girl failed math class. If you get one dollar every single day for an entire year, then how much money do you have at the end? You gotta do some math. Yeah. I mean, like, every month is not the same amount. I don't know, like, 1500 <laughs> Why can't we answer basic-ass questions like these, bro? I can't believe she said 1500 You dumb fuck! 1500 So you're telling me that there are 1500 days in a year. You know what negative one plus negative one is? This is sad, bro. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. And this man don't know what negative one plus negative one is. Negative two, my guy! Negative two. So if you're watching this video, negative two, okay? 
learn from your mistakes, get better. What's negative one plus one? Put in the comments below, man. And if you get it right, I will like your comment. So here is a video of a black girl confronting a white man because he has dreads. <laughs> You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah. Why? Because of my culture. Do you know what it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, nah, but I'm not. Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't you, matter. Wait, where's Egypt? You know what? Where's Egypt? You have no right to tell me what I can write. Huh? Where's Egypt? You know right? Yeah, bro, stop touching me right now. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. You're not offing me. Stop, stop, stop. Can you put the in my eyes, anybody can have dreads if your hair can naturally lock up. Because dreads have a spiritual meaning. Back then, they are meant to represent the spiritual connection that you have with the Christ consciousness or whatever you want to call it. Confronting somebody like this and harassing them over having dreads is just dumb. You don't see white people confronting black women when they wear the fucking wigs and the fucking straight weaves that look like white hair. Y'all literally try to make everything a problem when it shouldn't be a problem at all. Like she making it seem like this man had blackface. This man tattooed his face black, which means he probably will leave his kid or end up in jail and have half the rights. This man done signed his white privilege away. All right, y'all, then finally, this is a video I found of a judge that found out his marriage of like 51 years, his wife lied to him and told him that his kids are his when they weren't. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Them deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. He calling them deadbeats, man. <laughs> Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. Mm. You could just hear the pain in his voice when he else. said that. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Nice. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman or yeah they were milkmen back when they came around I mean, it's probably the pool god boy. only knows he left out a pool boy <laughs> it sure gets old i do wish i knew who the real fathers were and they ain't the same she was bopping a couple of different guys <laughs> but if i could figure out who they were <laughs> I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I can sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead meat. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the judge, man. Chaps my ass. It, she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, boys. Y'all need to go get your own paternity test. You can't tell how by looking who's the daddy. Facts. Unless you're looking down at the genetic level. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. And four out of five times, guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test, the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you like sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. That's true, man. If you know, you know, man. Women love sex too, bro. Well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. It's sad for him because he's old, bro. He, he lucky about to die. And he got no legacy. Those kids aren't actually his, man. His whole life wasted. He got no heir to his throne. That's what makes this even more sad, man, that he found out this late and his wife lied to him for this long. That's some evil ass shit. And he just looking back at his life and saying, damn, I really got nothing on this earth. Like my generation ends with me. That's fucked up, man. So prayers goes out to my brother, man. Yeah, there's some awful people on this planet. 
but there's also good people, man. Just know how to weed out the awful ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Leave your thoughts below, and I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.